Think about this. A water-powered engine, a concept forgotten for so long, is making a surprising comeback. This idea, which once gathered dust, has evolved into a practical, everyday power source. In a world filled with electric and regular engines, this innovation isn't just competing, it's aiming to reshape the whole car industry. And its bonus? It's here to fight the pollution problem on our roads. Let's delve into the revival of the water engine and find out why it's set to turn the car world upside down. Let's delve into why water-powered engines haven't been a reality until now. The car industry has long pursued the dream of developing water-powered engines, but previous attempts often ended in failure or inefficiency. Some promising projects were abandoned along the way. The closest we've come to water-powered engines are fuel cell vehicles and hydrogen-powered combustion engines. But they still lag behind electric cars and traditional engines due to their rudimentary and inefficient technology. But here's where the excitement begins. A few years ago, scientist Ala Eddin Kasemi from Iran changed the game. Kasemi converted a local Peugeot 405 from gasoline power to run on water. He claims his water-powered engine is highly efficient, reliable, and straightforward, developed entirely in his spare time. Now, let's dive into how this engine works. Kasemi's innovation taps into the power of water, specifically by splitting H2O into hydrogen and oxygen, creating a chemical reaction that drives the car. It's somewhat similar to a hydrogen combustion engine, like the one in a BMW Hydrogen 7, but it doesn't rely on highly flammable compressed gas. The system uses electrolysis to break down water molecules when a voltage is applied to the tank's electrodes, often referred to as an HHO generator. The fuel tank has a 60-liter capacity, replacing the rear seats. In a video shared with the public, Kasimi even drinks the distilled water to demonstrate that it's not conventional fossil fuel. When driven efficiently, this car can cover over 900 kilometers at 90 kilometers per hour, consuming about 6 liters of water per 100 kilometers. This incredible efficiency means fewer pit stops, making it more convenient for long-distance travel compared to electric vehicles. Now, let's talk about the benefits of water-powered engines. Water packs more punch as a fuel source than gasoline. A liter of water can generate up to 96 megajoules of energy, while a liter of gasoline produces only 29 megajoules, nearly four times less. While we might not see super-powered sports cars running on water anytime soon, these engines should have enough power to meet most people's driving needs. Furthermore, internal combustion engines, whether running on gasoline or diesel, have long been notorious for their detrimental impact on the environment. They produce a wide array of toxic emissions, with the most notable being carbon dioxide, CO2. This greenhouse gas is a primary contributor to climate change and global warming, and its excessive release into the atmosphere has far-reaching consequences. The combustion of fossil fuels in these engines not only releases CO2, but also emits harmful pollutants such as nitrogen oxides, NOx, and particulate matter, PM, which contribute to air pollution and various health problems. In stark contrast, the water-powered engine developed by Ala Edin Kasemi represents a paradigm shift in the automotive industry's approach to sustainability. This innovative technology produces only water vapor as a byproduct of its operation. Water vapor is an entirely clean emission, and it poses no harm to the environment or human health. This groundbreaking feature alone positions the water engine as an eco-friendly alternative to traditional internal combustion engines. By eliminating the release of harmful pollutants and drastically reducing CO2 emissions, the water engine aligns with global efforts to combat climate change and reduce air pollution. Its potential impact on improving air quality in urban areas cannot be understated as it contributes to healthier living conditions for people and a reduction in respiratory illnesses linked to air pollution. Moreover, water, as a fuel source, is considerably more sustainable and cost-effective. While distilled water may be more expensive than regular tap water, it still remains significantly cheaper than gasoline or diesel. This affordability factor extends to the operational costs of water-powered vehicles, 
making them an attractive option for budget-conscious consumers. Another significant advantage of water-powered engines is their convenience and accessibility. Unlike electric vehicles, EVs, which require specialized charging infrastructure and longer charging times, water-powered vehicles can be refilled virtually anywhere, much like conventional gasoline or diesel vehicles. This accessibility, combined with their shorter refueling times, positions water engines as a more practical choice for long-distance travel. In contrast, EVs, while environmentally friendly, often face challenges related to complexity and maintenance costs. These vehicles rely on intricate electrical systems and expensive lithium-ion batteries, which can be prohibitive to repair or replace when needed. Water engines, by comparison, offer a simpler mechanical assembly that is easier and more cost-effective to maintain and repair. Furthermore, water-powered engines contribute to energy independence, as they are not reliant on the electric grid, which is often powered by fossil fuels. This independence from the grid aligns with efforts to reduce the carbon footprint associated with electricity generation. Furthermore, the journey of water-powered engines has been riddled with intriguing setbacks and mysteries. It seems that these innovative technologies, often designed by small companies or individuals, have faced chronic underfunding and neglect within the industry, even when they've demonstrated potential. One notable instance takes us back to 1998, when a groundbreaking water-powered car made its debut. This vehicle, similar in concept to Kasemi's Peugeot 405, was ingeniously created by Stanley Allen Meyer. Meyer's car was not a result of extensive automotive research and development, but rather assembled in fairly rudimentary conditions. His prototype was a buggy fitted with a water-powered engine, which he claimed was capable of running on water as its sole fuel source. However, the story surrounding Meyer's invention takes a dark turn. He alleged that both major car and oil companies made significant efforts to pressure him into destroying all evidence of his creation. Reportedly, these corporations offered him substantial sums of money in exchange for erasing any trace of the water-powered car's existence. Meyer, refusing to yield, openly challenged these powerful entities. Sadly, in 1998, Meyer passed away suddenly from what was reported as a brain aneurysm. This untimely death took place during a dinner with his brother and two Belgian businessmen who had shown interest in his invention. Strangely, just moments before his demise, Meyer clutched his throat and told his brother that he believed he had been poisoned by the two businessmen. Tragically, Meyer never regained consciousness. The mystery deepens, as shortly after his death, an unidentified individual ransacked Meyer's garage, making off with the car he had developed, along with most of the schematics and tools. These stolen items were never recovered. While it remains uncertain whether the oil companies were truly behind Meyer's allegations or if there were other motives at play, the circumstances surrounding his passing are indeed perplexing. Other inventors have also ventured into the development of engines similar to Kasimi's and Meyer's. For instance, Pakistani scientist Agha Wakar Ahmed created a vehicle powered by distilled water, claiming its functionality. However, his work was met with skepticism and opposition. Pakistan's former Minister of Science and Technology, ATA Ur Rehman, dismissed the project, stating that such inventions violated the laws of conservation of energy. As for Qasemi's invention, it appears to face similar challenges. There have been no significant updates on its development for several years, which is disheartening. The promising potential of water-powered engines remains unrealized as the automotive industry, for reasons not yet fully clear, continues to delay and overlook their development. In conclusion, despite the incredible promise that water-powered engines hold for a cleaner and more sustainable future, they remain elusive in the world of practical, daily-use vehicles. Until a major car manufacturer throws its weight behind the development of water engines, it seems we may miss out on the remarkable benefits they offer. Let's hope that Kasemi and his water-powered Peugeot 405 fare better than Stanley Allen Meyer, steering clear of mysterious cranberry juice-related incidents and elusive businessmen. So, what are your thoughts about a water engine? Will it finally be successful in the automotive space? 
share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.